Estonia renews U.S. extradition of crypto businessmen accused of $575 million Ponzi scheme report. Julius Smith last updated January 26, 2024, 135 ESD to Min Reed. Courtesy, Unsplash the Estonian government has decided to renew the United States extradition of two alleged fraudsters accused of running a $575 million scheme, Estonian Public Broadcasting reports, justified in accordance with the rule of law. The extradition's approval reverses an earlier decision made by the Tallinn Circuit Court in November to block the extradition, citing procedural irregularities and conditions of detention in the United States. However, Estonian Minister of Justice Kent Lau stated the court verified that the conditions of the accused perpetrators of coming detention facility in the U.S. were humane and lawful. The government concluded that the extradition of the citizens to the U.S. is justified in accordance with the rule of law and does not disproportionately affect the rights of the citizens, Lau said a half-a-billion-dollar global crypto scheme. News of the extradition comes just over a year after Estonian citizens Sergei Potapenko and Ivan Turajan were arrested for orchestrating the more than half-billion-dollar fraud. U.S. prosecutors allege the duo lured victims to invest in crypto mining firm Hashflare and digital asset bank Polybius Bank before laundering funds into shell companies in order to purchase real estate and luxury cars. The size and scope of the alleged scheme is truly astounding U.S. Attorney Nick Brown of the Western District of Washington stated in a November 2022 press release. They lured investors with false representations and then paid early investors off with money from those who invested later, Brown continued. They tried to hide their ill-gotten gain in Estonian properties, luxury cars, bank accounts, and virtual currency wallets around the world, facing a lengthy prison sentence following extradition. U.S. attorneys alleged that Hashflare itself was a sham, performing Bitcoin mining at a rate of less than 1% of the computing power it purported to have. Moreover, it was found that Polybius Bank was never established as Patapinko, and Tarajan pocketed the $25 million they had raised for its creation. The indictment alleges that the money laundering conspiracy involved at least 75 real properties, six luxury vehicles, cryptocurrency wallets, and thousands of cryptocurrency mining machines, reads the November 2022 press release. Patipinko and Tirajan are charged with conspiracy to commit wire fraud, one count of conspiracy to commit money laundering, and 16 counts of wire fraud. Each of these crimes is punishable by up to 20 years in prison, continues the U.S. Attorney's Press Release. It is currently unclear what detention facility Patipinko and Tirajan will be extradited to follow. Us on Google News.